Sorry. Hello? This motion was first, or a very similar motion on this issue, was first debated before in 2003 when Margot MacDonald proposed um, setting up tonsils in Edinburgh, well, across the country actually, following the Edinburgh tonsils withdrawal. At that time, the motion was withdrawn and it was remitted for further debate and discussion. Well, we've had quite a bit of time for debate and discussion since then. Um, it's been debated at platforms, it's been debated at the Women's Network, it's been debated at branches, and now it's coming back. And it's coming back, I think, in a strengthened form. In addition to the debate and discussion that we've been having, there has also been debate and discussion within the Scottish Executive. The Scottish Executive commissioned a report um, on, around the bill that was presented. One of, the, one of the feedback that they got from every single person that submitted into that um, report was the vulnerability of the women and the danger that they face being involved in this industry. The executive then produced a report, basically, which looked at how to manage prostitution. Well, it started off from the premise that you wanted to manage prostitution, but quite frankly, I don't think you want to manage prostitution. I think you want to eradicate prostitution. And that is exactly where this motion is coming from. It's coming from the idea that prostitution is inherently exploitative and that we must get rid of it and we must take action not to manage it, but to eradicate it. Apart from the debates we've been having in here and that the Scottish Executive have been having, things have also moved on in the real world. Over the last few years, we've seen an increase and immigrant women being trafficked into the country, being raped several times in one day, and then being busted by the police and deported back to countries where they're not safe. We've also seen, just over the last couple of months, women being abducted in Glasgow, who were working in the industry, and then being subjected to horrific attacks and even killed. And I do believe that there's even one missing at the minute who is suspected to be in danger. This is completely unacceptable. We cannot tolerate this industry. We cannot legalise it, we can't do anything to manage it, we need to get rid of it. We have to stop it, straighten our tracks, and the only way to do that is to target the demand. And the demand is ultimately people who buy women, and this is where we must target it at. We must decriminalise the women that are involved in it, and make it safe for them to come forward, while at the same time, criminalising and targeting the men, not just through the, through the legal and justice system, but also through education as well. We need to make it as unacceptable to use a prostitute as it is for drink driving. Now, to my mind, that is just such an astounding comparison. But drink driving has been turned around from something that was completely acceptable a, few, uh, a decade or so ago to something which is really quite intolerable now. And to compare it to prostitution, where women are effectively raped through economics, is, is quite a horrific comparison. But there is a big subsection of society which sees prostitution as a victimless crime. Well, it's not a victimless crime. These women are victims every time they go out to work, and many of them are also prior victims. They're survivors of sexual abuse, they're survivors of domestic violence. Um, a lot of them are drug addicted and a lot of them are migrant and trying to escape. Some of them have been trafficked, but there's also increasing evidence that traffickers are targeting women, asylum-seeking women, after they get here, knowing the position that asylum-seeking women are in, the desperation that they're in, and then enslaving them. We already have policy saying that prostitution is caused by poverty, which is true enough, but it's also caused by exploitation. And we need to directly target it. We need to explore the Swedish approach which looks at targeting the demand um, and not those women involved in it. We need to repeal the entertainment licences for establishments which provide commercial sexual activity. Um, to to um, pass laws against using women for sex and paying for it. And we need to campaign to get educational campaigns up and running to educate particularly for anyone who would want to use the services of anyone involved in prostitution about the harm inherent in the industry and the reality of what prostitution is. And we must mandate 
all elected representatives of the Scottish Socialist Party to support only legislation designed to eradicate prostitution and which is in line with the beliefs outlined in this motion should anything similar to the Tomstone's proposal ever come up again. Thank you. I'm Sean Donnelly, Edinburgh Central Branch, and I second in this motion. I think, comrades, a lot of times when we discuss prostitution, we tend not to talk about prostitution, but to talk about, um, uh, we talk about either um, trafficking or um, drug abuse or, or, or other such issues, and rather than focusing on the act of prostitution, because prostitution is abuse of women, and I think that that sometimes gets missed out in the discussion. And talk of toleration zones is talk of tolerating the abuse and continued abuse of women. A recent study has shown that 62% of um, prostitutes are raped while they're working, 87% suffer violence, and that 89% want to leave it um, almost immediately after, after, uh, after starting it. I think that, and that many women have, um, um, are shown to have um, suffered from post-traumatic um, stress disorder. I think, comrades, we need to um, be clear about this, that we are against the, the, the abuse of women. And I think that we need to, um, that, that, that we, um, need to begin this discussion because I think it's, a, it's an ideological discussion as well about how men um, view women. I think prostitution adds to the ideas that, that all women are potentially viable and are, 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 are potential commodities. And I think that adds to the, the, the level of misogyny and, and sexism which is in, in um, society generally. We have to target um, the, the, the demand for, for um, buying um, women. And I think that only by adopting or supporting the Swedish model where um, that demand is, is withdrawn and beginning an education process about, about um, the, the women's position in society generally, but also the commodification um, of, of, of her sexuality. We need to, to be engaged in that. Toleration, toleration zones result in the increase of women and young girls in, um, entering prostitution. We need to be um, full, fully behind eradicating prostitution um, completely and not about, um, uh, not about managing it. I think also what this would do as well is it would strengthen um, those women who are still in prostitution if men were, um, were um, you know, if it was targeted men because they would have a stronger case because a, a, a criminal act would have happened. Um, so if women had been abused or raped, then the police would have to, would be, you know, they, they would have more recourse to legal force. So it strengthened their position because um, the fact that someone had, had um, um, paid a woman would, 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 would be a reportable crime in, in any case. And the, um, uh, you know, so it would strengthen their positions um, also. I would ask conference to support this. I think this is quite a radical um, 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 demand that we have, and I think we need to show ourselves to be a radical socialist party, and this is one of the, the, the start of that.